My name is Joris Hemmelaar, and I'm a clinical academic. And what that means is that I do both clinical work and I do research. In my clinical work, I'm a consultant obstetrician, and I work at the John Radcliffe Hospital uh, here in Oxford. And for my research, I'm in the National Perinatal Epidemiology Unit in Oxford Population Health. My background is slightly unusual in the sense that I did my medical degree a little bit later. So I'm originally from Holland, uh, where I studied molecular biology and genetics. And then I first came to Oxford to do my PhD in immunology. And after that, I did some postdoctoral research at the Harvard Medical School. And only then did I do medicine, for which I came back uh, here to Oxford. And after I completed uh, my medical degree, um, I specialized in obstetrics and gynecology, which I also did here in Oxford. And then quite recently, I became a consultant and got a senior position to do research in Oxford Population Health. So I look at two quite different areas. One is uh, I look at HIV in pregnancy and how it affects the pregnancy outcomes. And the second uh, part of my research focuses on the global spread of HIV. So HIV in pregnancy um, affects both the mother and the baby, and a lot of the interest has focused on preventing transmission of HIV to the baby during pregnancy. But I'm interested in the other uh, pregnancy outcomes, uh, such as premature birth and stillbirth. And so we're trying to investigate which uh, regime of uh, treatment for HIV is best in uh, reducing the adverse perinatal outcomes in women with HIV. And the second project uh, looks at the global spread of uh, genetic variants of HIV. And this is important for HIV vaccine development. Uh, just to put that into perspective, um, every year we need a new flu vaccine. And that's uh, necessary because the flu that is around uh, one year to another year differs by about one to two percent. And for that, we need a new vaccine each year. Now, the different strains of HIV, for which there are about uh, more than 100, they can differ by up to 25%. And so it's very unlikely that one HIV vaccine will cover all these different strains. And for that reason, we need to know which strains uh, are where around the world. And we are doing research to determine the distribution of these strains around the globe. The best thing is really that uh, you have the best of both worlds. So I still practice uh, clinically and uh, there you have the direct patient contact and the direct sort of satisfaction of uh, helping a patient with their medical problem and of course delivering babies in my case. And then on the research side, um, you have time to reflect on uh, what you're practicing and uh, to help improve uh, the knowledge base uh, in what we do clinically. Um, in addition, uh, at a practical level, I really like uh, working with my students and I really like uh, that in research you can do something new and that you, uh, when you've done an experiment or you have done a study, you have data that no one else has and that you can really add uh, to what we know. And that's, I think, a really positive thing to be able to do.